This moment deserves a capital OMG because I am going to learn to play the laser harp. I'm Callie Lewis. Welcome to Geek Beat. This episode of Geek Beat TV is brought to you by Carbonite. All right, guys, so I'm in London, and forget Big Ben, forget the Tower Bridge, we have Steve Thompson here. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for coming down, Kelly, it's really great. You're like one of my favorite Brits of all time. <laughs> favorite one, sorry. Favorite. <laughs> favorite Brits of all time. Okay, I'm just yes. getting to grips with the accents still. Right, yeah, right. okay, cool. Thank you, that is so sweet of you to say. You're definitely one of my favorite Americans. So oh, we well, thank you. All right, so enough of the love fest. Yeah. You are a brilliant musician, I hear. Well, thank you, you very much. That's very kind. <laughs> You're going to teach me all about the laser harp, which I don't think anyone in the world has but you. <laughs> uh, but you also play the trombone. Yeah, I'm a trombonist primarily. Yeah, there's not a massive demand as yet for laser harpists, but there's a few of us out there. I'm not the only one. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. You shouldn't have told me. I was going to you know, put you out there as the, as the only one. Oh, man, yeah. I'm, I, I think there's only two in the UK that I know of. Wow. Impressive. Yeah, yeah. So, but there's a few more around the world. Like What's the band you play with uh, outside of here? Oh, okay. I play with all sorts of bands. I'm, I'm kind of freelance and everything. So I do. Like, I'm working a lot with a Hackney Colliery band at the moment. You got to say Hackney Colliery because I love the way you say Colliery. Just say that. Colliery. <laughs> Col colliery. I colliery. <laughs> yeah, we're doing we're doing a lot of work at the moment. It's great. Um, it's such a fun bunch of guys to work with. That's really good. We uh, did a Balkan tour over the summer. Um, we're off to the north of England. In about 20 minutes time, yeah, something like that, yeah. So we're doing a tour there and promoting the album that's just out, so it's cool. All right, so cool. Let me understand what a laser harp is. So uh, kind of walk me through what you have and how it goes together and why you put it together. Okay, sure. So um, let's start with why. So uh, 1986, you probably weren't even born then. I was five. Okay, oh man, okay. <laughs> um, there's a French musician called Jean-Michel Jarre, you may have heard of Oh, I've actually met him. I've done an interview with him. He did, with the aero uh, dock thing that he's uh, built. Yeah, yeah, right. really interesting guy. Uh, fantastic. He did a concert not too far from your neck of the woods in Houston. And 1.3 million people turned up to this city in concert. And it was like a kind of extension of the French Sonne Lumiere, you know, kind of like music with light and... He just turned the whole of the skyline of downtown Houston into a concert area. It was fantastic. Like I say, 1.3 million people enjoyed it. And there, I saw for the first time a laser harp. He played a laser harp. And it's effectively the same as a harp. It's, it's like a musical instrument with strings, but without strings. Instead of strings, lasers. Lasers. Did you yeah. guys hear that? Which is, which is pretty cool. So you play it in the same way uh, in the, that you play the harp. There's two types, actually. There's one that's a framed harp which is it's very much like a, a normal harp they're not so much around actually but you also get a frameless one which the lasers go up theoretically to the moon depending on how powerful your lasers are obviously and that's okay. the one that we're going to see today so. awesome all right show me what what does it take to put to this to thing together because it looks kind of hacked together yeah and not in a bad way no 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 you're absolutely right well okay originally i was going to actually build from scratch a laser harp and my wife who is the voice of reason all the time <laughs> said Please don't do that. <laughs> You're going to waste thousands of pounds. And she's 100% right. So what I did, uh, I looked out on the internet and see if anybody was making that. And the two companies that are making laser harps at the moment, there's Chroma Laser and uh, ProLight. Now, Chroma Laser do an all-in-one kind of job, which is like a, a briefcase that um, you kind of get the whole thing in and plug it in and it's ready to go, which is really cool. Uh, ProLight do it a little bit more kind of... Um, modular base kind of thing so um, that's what we have here john take here. a look at the setup we have here we've got all sorts of different pieces how many uh components do we have well i, I counted up actually when i was packing up this thing yesterday and i i worked out that there's 27 bits that go into making it work and if i forget one of those bits the whole oh. thing is completely useless so more yeah okay. yeah quite all right so maybe we won't see all 27 bits i'm not no, sure but uh should we start over there yeah, okay, well, so first of all, um, if you want to see lasers, you've got to have a hazer. You've got to have some sort of dis dispersant. So yeah, in like, America, we call that a fog machine. A fog machine, yeah, okay. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that, that's a good distinction to make there because you can get fog machines that have quite heavy fog and they tend to lie on the floor, whereas haze you want to kind of raise. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. As much as possible so you can see the lasers. Okay. So that's what that is. Can you show us? Yeah, I can see it working here. It just kicks out a nice 
fog. There we go. And you can, <laughs> yes, sorry. <laughs> it's one of the hazards. If you want to be a laser harp, you've got to learn to love that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, laser half is so um yeah and what's so, this control so this is just for the height hazer yeah so you can just do it a manual you can do it continuous which is just going to do that or you can just program it to kind of pump out every so often okay. so yeah that's all that's doing we should be good for now it's looking pretty foggy in okay. here so good. um i don't <laughs> think come around here and see this this is the brains of the harp this is the the pro uh, laser harp controller lh1 uh and you've got a few settings on here um just the power just to open the thing uh it triggers midi sounds so i don't know if you're familiar with midi but um, somewhat i mean yeah it's a fairly standard way of yeah. uh, of just um controlling electronic music devices uh you can set it to have different colored beams if you have a laser that's compatible with that you can set it to have i think between eight and 12 beams um i generally keep mine on eight because it's a little bit easier to play 12 you kind of forget which note you're playing particularly with a, a single colored laser okay. so uh that's why i'm doing that sorry i'm, I'm moving no. away from you <laughs> uh then we move over to the this is connected to the sensor which is here okay so you've got a little sensing device here which um, sees which laser is being played at the moment, which string is, if you like, is being okay. played at the moment. And then you've got a bank uh, of MIDI uh, notes, uh, which you can kind of rotate through um, like that. And that tells you which bank of notes you're playing. So it gives you more notes than just the eight that the strings. Oh. So, okay, there's like three times eight, basically. So, so while you're playing, you could switch the switch notes over. and then yeah. you can have additional... Additional notes. Okay. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, and that's controlled by a foot switch, which is down here. Yeah. Uh, then there's the, the laser. Um, now, I took a long time choosing the laser. This one is a, a 400 milliwatt laser. But the important thing is it's green, 532 nanometers, I think. Now, green sits right in the center of the kind of human eyes, uh, ideal place to kind mm -hmm. of see things. So um, it's, it's a, a reasonably powered laser. It's about as high powered as you can get for a, th a class 3B laser. After that, they go a little bit more powerful, like this one here. This is the most powerful handheld laser in the world. The this Wicked Lasers the Spider Wicked Arctic. Laser. This is it. fantastic. Uh, very, fantastic. very powerful. Hugely powerful, yeah, yeah. Uh, and this one's blue. So uh, this is about 1.2 watts i think and this is 400 milliwatts so this is about three times more powerful than this one okay but because of the but you wouldn't be able to use your hands on this one yeah well you probably would with gloves you'd have to take you know you have to respect lasers they are quite dangerous things so safety first um okay. yeah you probably could but unfortunately this is not uh ilda compatible ilda is ilda that's the international laser display association and to create all the shapes and everything that you need you need it to be ilda compatible okay. so I did not know that. There you go. <laughs> and then, of course, you have just a plain vanity a plain mirror. Vanity mirror. Yeah, that was just um, uh, from a from a chemist shop. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So that pretty much makes it uh, makes up your components uh, for the major parts, at least. Yeah. And then, of course, you have the computer yeah, running thing. Yeah, there. You can plug it into a synthesizer or anything that makes sound okay. via MIDI and just trigger it. So this is just a regular uh, laptop. All yeah. right. Yeah. Well, shall we turn it on and see how it works? Oh, wait! No, first, we gotta go to commercial break. We gotta thank our sponsor for today. Hope you're enjoying this episode. The best part is still to come. Oh, and I dance. Sorry. <laughs> One thing we didn't get to show you is all of Steve's music files on the computer. He has a ton of tracks that are necessary for the laser harp to run. Imagine if he lost them right before a gig. It would be disastrous. And it's the same for your business. You've put so much work into your business. Don't let a single moment's disaster ruin it all. Carbonite Online Backup will safely and easily back up all your data to the cloud so you can have peace of mind that it'll be there when you need it and restore it easily too. Get a free trial in two months free if you buy at Carbonite.com and use offer code GEEK beat back to the laser harp and the dancing all right now that we're back let the lasering begin go for it steve here we go oh my god that is awesome <laughs> <laughs> look at how it just like expanded into like a laser looking thing and then the music that was fantastic yeah just a little startup sound that um can i tell you where i got that startup sound from is that yeah go for it yeah I, I borrowed that off this ghostbusters proton pack you know when the ghostbusters and they they you've seen it yeah and i slowed it down and add some reverb to it and kind of did it and nice. i just thought that looks cool when, when it comes uh, that up. was fantastic <laughs> i just thought that that's what 
happened when the laser began. That's one thing that I'm going to talk to ProLight about. That should definitely happen on the LH2 whenever that comes out. Definitely. <laughs> all right. So the lasers are reflecting. We've got all of our different notes, I guess. That's um, right. Yeah. It's actually only one laser and it's, it's moving between these positions quicker than your eye can see. Okay, and it's got a, a really, really... No, I can see that. I don't know what's wrong with you, right? Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, there's like, it's flickering between there. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, so it's only one laser. So what it's doing, it's timing when it's showing that laser at that point. Okay. And that's how it's going to know which beam is being broken. Okay, okay so... so the time between the two. So if I... Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, cool. So if I, if I just Whoa! start playing... Safety first. Oh, the Not gloves! Turn your hands off. Yeah. Oh. White okay. gloves, please. Yeah, okay. that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, here, you hold that. this. Yeah, great. Let's see. Get these on. There you go. Now I feel official. That your official laser harpist. Now you've got your white gloves. All right. That's great. Okay, I'll be honest with you. You don't need the white gloves. That's fine. <laughs> I just thought you looked great in white gloves, and you do. That's a good look for you. Okay. That's great. All right, so these aren't actually dangerous. Uh, you don't want to get your eyes anywhere near them. That will already be bad. But no, a, a powered laser like this is, is actually not so bad. I, right. don't, I don't know if I should say that, but um, <laughs> I've had, never had any problem with it, so it's cool. Except for your eyes. Except, yeah, don't put your eyes anywhere near it. You All need right. the white glove for extra reflectivity so it works. So what do I do? Okay, so it's uh, pretty simple, actually, to play a laser harp. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I don't have a musical bone in my body. No, I don't think that's going to be a problem, actually. Okay, ready? Yeah. So if you want a note... Put your hand into the string. And if wow. you want to stop the note, take cool. your hand at that. That's basically, you've got it. That's the oh. laser harp technique. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this. Beautiful. That's a cool. cool. <laughs> well done. That, that was so much nicer than my note. <laughs> <laughs> mine was very angelic. <laughs> very angelic. All right. Cool. <laughs> so what I've done, I've loaded in different sounds to okay. the different strings because uh, what this does is just triggers MIDI notes C, I think it's C1 through to uh, B1 and then on a different bank C2 yeah. through to, and so on. So you're kind of limited on the notes what, that, that you can play. So what I do is use a sampler and just put the notes that I want in any different sounds. I can load as much stuff onto one string as you need. So then, with the same yeah. instrument, this laser harp, you could play any gig out there of any type of music you want. Yeah, pretty much any type. Yeah, yeah. My first laser harp gig here in London was uh, actually they wanted a really kind of classical uh, angelic sound. I think that was actually one of the patches that I used. Yeah, yeah, for that. Um, it was a Christmas gig and they wanted kind of the angels coming down and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that was quite fun. That is very, very cool. Yeah. What else do I need to know? What am I missing? So do I just, can, can you hold this? That's, yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah. We can... Um, <laughs> Ooh, that's got some Star one. Trek uh, yeah, that's, looking. There you go. Nice. That's cool. And you can just exactly. What and you can you can play as many notes as you like at, at once. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course you've got the different banks so you can rig up different sounds. Whoa. Oh, wow, that's quite a loud one. Wow. <laughs> <I remember that. laughs> Well, the very, very cool. Thank you so much for showing cool. us the laser harp. Oh, one other question. Yeah. How much did all this cost? Okay, so um, the laser harp itself, uh, with uh, this came from Croatia, actually. Uh, so with all the import duties and the tax and everything, it probably came in about a bag of sand. Uh, the laser was about a monkey, I think. Uh, and I think everything else was reasonably cheap. You can get it for a pony or so, something like that. And in English, please? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, so a bag of sand, that's about a grand, about a thousand pounds. So about 800 euros, but with the import tax, it came in at about a thousand pounds. The laser, I actually shopped around for that one. It's probably about 800 pounds, but I got it for about 500 pounds. So that's pretty cool for that um, quality of laser. And then the various bits like the mirror and power of things and a bit of software and everything. 20 quid, something like that. 20 pounds, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to leave London knowing all the language differences. Brilliant. Uh, got me right? right? You've got that down, yeah? Yeah. Excellent. That's I, I'm going to go home talking it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. At St oh, yeah. At Steve T Music on Twitter. Okay. So go follow him. He's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think you should play us out. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's, let's do that. Okay, let's, let's swap places. So... Um, 
I've, lo I've logged the backing into this string. You just have fun with those strings. Should go we do it? it. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Ready? Bit of Euro kind of dance, kind okay. of. Yeah, all is right. that right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. okay, let's go. Ready, ready, and. <laughs> I cross the streams. <laughs> <laughs> you cross the streams. <laughs> All right, bye guys. I'm Callie Lewis. That's Steve Thompson. We're out of here. I'm ready for surgery now. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>